Hello. Happy gay Christmas. Oh, thank you. I'm, I'm dressed in a Christmassy way, so I hope I don't catch light. If I do, it's not part of the act. Please help me. Okay? No laughter. No one cares. Are you hoping for a big red daddy to come down your chimney on Christmas Eve? Yes. I've boarded mine up. I don't want him to come to me. I'm, um, I, lo I look like a primary school teacher that's gone, Come on, kids, let's go and live in the forest. <laughs> what do you mean you don't like cider? It's got apples in it. <laughs> I'm, I'm not a teacher. I can't read. I'm a dyspraxic bisexual. That's, that's not a job. <laughs> Sounds like a promiscuous trapeze artist who's had a lot of accidents, doesn't it? <laughs> and, uh, and I have, but not on a trapeze. Because I'm not allowed in the circus anymore. Because I scare the clowns. <laughs> so, you know, clowns, they're like... What is it? Um, oh, yeah, twats. That's it. I'm really clumsy and uncoordinated. I've got to walk like a bewildered moth. And... Um, <laughs> My mum's friend Val told me I look much more disabled from a distance. <laughs> I genuinely don't know what to do with that information. <laughs> so what I've done is I've got a big tin of white paint from Wix, because it's cheap, and I follow Val round everywhere, drawing big white grids, so I know where to stand to get my benefit. <laughs> she said to me, even though I live on the fourth floor above your mum, and you're walking the other side of the river. I always know it's you. Oh, I know, great. It's my career as a spy over then. <laughs> then she looked at me, right, like I needed more wisdom. That really annoying look. Mm, like that. She went, I'll tell you what it's like. It's like your dad walking, only much worse. I thought, well, my dad's dead. How bad must the walk be? <laughs> I thought I'd wear this special lanyard for hidden disabilities. I know. It's like Harry Potter in a secret bag of health problems, isn't it? <laughs> but he'd have been beaten to death if he'd gone to my school, to be fair. <laughs> By my mum. Um, on the back, right, it says, What are your issues? <laughs> How long have you got? There's <laughs> quite a few of them. And the space is only that big. So I didn't know where to start, so I put, I don't like prawns. Um, which I don't. I, I don't understand why they're so down all the time. There's no reason, is there? Oh, my legs are so thin. I can't buy jeans. It's like really depressed magnets, aren't they? Um, I, I've got no sense of direction with dyspraxia at all. I should never have tried to find the toilets in a Weber spoon, should I? It's like trying to locate the Earth's core, isn't it? I ended up in a storeroom in Mordor. And I, I thought, oh, I may as well do a stock take now. Because the thing is, right, I can use the disabled toilet. I am what an achievement. But I don't like asking for the key. It's with the bar staff, and then it's like, Dave, count our limbs. It's like, well, I've got... I've got four, but they don't all work together properly. I don't know what they want me to do, hack one off. And then, why is it locked anyway? What have they got in there? The Ark of the fucking Covenant. <laughs> so you go in there, I get why the, the mirror is really low, but why is it right next to the toilet? It doesn't make sense. I've been walking around all day going, oh, I wonder what I look like sitting on the toilet. <laughs> oh, <laughs> thank God, <laughs> there it is. Because we all know that uh, all you normals like a cheeky wee in the disabled toilet's a treat, don't you? We, we, know, we know that. We see you coming out, walking, limping, with the other leg. So that's, that's fine. But um, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a friend of Dorothy. When I first heard that term, I had no idea what it meant. I was sitting on a woman's lap in a venue, and uh, don't judge me, and, um, and this guy came in from work, and he said, Oh, sally Ann, I didn't know you were a friend of Dorothy. And I went... I don't know her. I wouldn't... I don't know anyone that uncool with a weird name. And he went, no, you know her. And so does your girlfriend. I went, what? He said, we all know her. I thought, oh, wait a minute. My sister's primary school teacher's running a cult. 
She wears skirts made of crushed digestive biscuits, for Jesus' sake. What we need as young gays is a gay Gandalf, don't we? Yes, yes, right? So the young gay boy would go up. Yeah, approach, you may touch my beard. Hmm, okay. Uh, gay Gandalf goes, you could be a wolf, an otter, or a badger. And the boy is going, oh, what is this, Tales of the Riverbank? <laughs> no. You can have this big gay Bible for gays, and it's this big. And he walks away with it like that, because it's really heavy. Young gay woman approaches. Hello, Gandalf. What have you got for me? And he gives me a plastic bag that they give people in hospital when their relative dies with all their stuff in. And he goes, oh, here you go then. I look inside, oh, what's that? Double denim and a pair of ugly shoes from the Second World War. <laughs> yeah, isn't it? And um, I'm wondering, well, actually, is there not another choice? Um, he goes, well, all right, I have a lipstick. There you go. That's all right. Um, I, I, I genuinely, I have such a bad sense of direction, I really want to do a panic room, but I wouldn't be able to find my way in, so then I'd be in a panic, because I don't want letting people down. So I, I, I don't understand just anything. Right, signs, people. Right, there's one near me, and it says, take dog poo home. All right. <laughs> I've got loads of it now. <laughs> Can't get the back door open. <laughs> so, yeah, I, um, my mum was really ill in hospital recently, and she lived in Cornwall, my family lived in Cornwall. And when you're a gay in Cornwall, they make you live in a cave, right? <laughs> so, so when I go down there, I sit in a cave, it's really damp. Um, so she's in hospital. So I, I, my car broke down, if you ever. What a nightmare. Mum in hospital, car breaks down. All it would do was five miles an hour. So I had to drive to a garage I'd never been to before. Hazard lights on, five miles an hour. Really long stream of very angry traffic behind me. It's like the shittest Mardi Gras ever. <laughs> I got out and um, the, the, um, the guy, the mechanic said, oh, can I have your keys? It's a really big bunch of keys, really heavy. And he went, keys. And because they're heavy, he went like that as a joke. And I thought, oh my God, he's having a stroke. <laughs> so, so I got hold of him, because I do watch ambulance documentaries, let me tell you, just want to help. So I said, you've got to get on the floor, <coughs> on the floor. His name was Martin, Martin, on the floor. And he was going, what are you doing? Get off me, get off me. And I went, you need to get on the floor. I thought, I'm going to have to give him a dead leg in a minute. Can't get him on the floor. So then, as a joke, he went, Phil feel like this for his colleague who was next door. And I thought, oh, this is a dying Nelson, kiss me hardy moment. This is a gay cave thing. I said, Martin, don't worry, I am a bisexual. And he went, what? And I thought, don't you judge me, bitch. Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> what is going on here? And he went, you ruined my joke. I thought, joke, vaguely aware of that concept. Oh. oh, God, no. So the next day, I thought, I am going to have to do something for Martin. So I bought him some chocolates and hotel chocolates, because they're really expensive, aren't they? So I go around there. I wanted to eat them myself, but I didn't. Anyway, I, wait, I thought, I mustn't be weird, right? I've got to say something normal. So really try and be normal. I was going, be normal, be normal. I was saying it over and over again in my head. I got out and I went, Martin, thank you for fixing my car. Sorry for being weird. Here's some chocolates. I didn't put laxatives in them. <laughs> God. And I have to keep driving past that garage all the time to go and see my mum. Horrendous. And I, I try not to notice it. And then I go, notice it, notice it. Oh, I've noticed it. I've noticed it. So my, my mum... Um, what does that mean? Does that mean I've got one minute to live? <laughs> okay. It's fine. It's fine. We, we, can, we can get something out in a minute. Um, my, my mum loves men gays, right? She doesn't believe in lesbians. She thinks that they're like, they live in, I don't know, another world, like Lord of the Rings. And um, when I was seven, I was crossing the road with her, and I went to hold her hand. It wasn't last week. And she went, don't hold my hand. People will think we're lesbians. I was going, oh, what's a lesbian? She said, don't you say that word to me. Look it up in the dictionary. Because I've got learning difficulties. It took me a really long time to find it. <laughs> when I eventually did, I couldn't work out what the problem was with the capital of Portugal. <laughs> but 
have found out it's a very nice holiday destination. But yeah, thank you for listening to me. Happy Christmas. Bye.